guys so today i'm gonna be filming my first ever youtube video so if i seem nervous i am i've never done this before so bear with me i decided to film the um 2020 favorites what Thirty seconds. I decided to film my 2020 favorites, makeup related, of course, because that's what this is about. Um, these are the products that I use all the time, like all the time. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching. I kind of put them in a basket to go in order, but I put them all together, so that went down. You know. We're gonna start with primers. My favorite face primers are, is this one right here, the Bobbi Brown, Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This, if you have um, dry skin, this helps out a lot. And even though I don't have dry skin all the time, sometimes my skin is changing. So when, even when I didn't have dry skin, this was the bomb. Like it just makes your makeup look so smooth and beautiful but on top of that one i also apply this one the tarte timeless smoothing primer this one fills in your pores and all of that and this one i love so these two together are really really good and then we're gonna move on to the foundation this is my favorite foundation i know a lot of people hate it a lot of people oh it's too much it's too dry it's blah 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 well for me it's the best and whatever works for you works for you this is the urban decay all-nighter waterproof longwear liquid foundation yep this thing right here is the best it goes through like it stands through like all the heat in mexico that's how good it is i wore it in tabasco when we go to our vacations over there to visit my husband's family this thing right here will stand all the heat, everything. And then for after that, I use concealer. So that's how I do my makeup. Well, first I start with my eyebrows, but I kind of missed that step. I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, After that, I use my concealers. Well, I use two shades. And my favorite concealer is this one right here. Yeah, I know it's a lot of people's favorite. A lot of people don't like it either but whatever works for you, like I said. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I use the shade Medium Sand and Medium Tan Sand. I kind of, I put the Medium Sand like right here in the, right under my eye, and then the Tan Sand like on the outsides to kind of make it work for me, like a shade that works for me good. So yeah, these are my favorite concealers. They don't crease. They're just really good. And then after that, I set my under eye. Well, these I also use to highlight my face. I highlight under my eye or hide my under circles. Um, and then I use these as well for my forehead, my nose, and my chin. And then this trick, I learned it from one of like um, um famous makeup artists. Luis Torres, um, he has a channel on YouTube. He's really, really good. He told he says not to set your concealer right away because you create you create like a paste. So kind of let it sit there. I know that goes against what everybody says because everybody's like, oh, set it right away so it doesn't um crease. Well, I just do that and it doesn't crease at before. I do my I do my under eye and then I go and do the rest of my face where I put concealer like right here on my nose and right here. And then when I'm done with all of that, I go back to my under eye. I kind of like um, blend with my sponge again and then I set. And this is my favorite setting powder, the Laura Mercier, if I'm pronouncing that right, translucent loose setting powder in the shade Honey. Honey? Yeah, this is the shade Honey. Well, I can't find the shade anywhere. Oh, yeah. Translucent Honey. This is the my favorite powder. When my skin is very dry or like in the, on the dry side, I just leave it on for like a minute and take it off. When it's not like the summer, I leave it on for a longer time. 
and then i set my whole face i don't use this to set my whole face for my whole face i use this right here my mac mineralized skin finish and medium deep mineralized skin finish natural and medium deep this right here is so good because it doesn't add any coverage to your face because with this foundation with the all-nighter you don't need any more coverage this just i don't know it just sets everything and it makes it look really nice i use this shade in the summer and in the winter it just works for both and then after setting my face with that powder i go in with my bronzer and contour for bronzer and contour this is my favorite bronzer the island thing well that's the shade this is the instant warmth bronzer from Fenty Beauty. Yeah, I'm already hitting pan. I rarely hit pan on products, so I'm gonna have to order a new one. This is really, really good. Like, it just gives your face that warmth. It just makes it look really nice. And then for a uh, contour shade, I use these two, this one and this one, in the MAC. Well, mostly the um the middle one in the MAC. Um, so, what is it called? Max Max Studio Fi Fix Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette. So yeah, this is really good because it has so many shades. But I mean, I only use the middle one. I don't even use these three at all. Every once in a while, I use the two on the sides. So yep, this is what I use to contour my face. Then after contour, I apply my blush. And my favorite blushes of all this year have, well, past year and probably this year too. Because once you find something that works for you, it's hard to let it go. These are my favorite blushes. I use MAC. This is my favorite shade. This is called Peach Pinch Me. Pinch Me. It's like a peachy, corally, rosy. I don't know. That's the shade. And then Bisou. This is another really good bronzer. I should have bought some when I went to Mexico a month ago. I don't know why I didn't. But this is in the shade Chedron. This is like a orangey, corally color. It's so beautiful. These are my all-time blushes. Like, I use them every time I do my makeup. It's either... Or sometimes I even mix them. After that comes my highlighter before i apply my highlighter i always um um put some fix plus on my face i, I kind of feel like it just makes everything melt in together and this is the mac fix plus this is what i do what i use and then after that i use my favorite highlighters and this is they are the mac gold deposit and well the shade is gold deposit they are the mineralized skin finish highlighters i guess that's it this is the shade gold deposit it is so beautiful on i, th I would think it works on medium dark skin tones i don't know about light because it does have like an orangey tone to it so it might be too dark for skin well light skin tones I use this and I'm extra, so I use like two or three highlighters sometimes. So I use this one all the time. And then on top, I either apply this one, the MAC Oh Darling Extra Dimension Skin Finish. The shade is Oh Darling. It's all messed up. I don't know. It fell off the pan. It's all loose in there. But um, yeah, this one's really good. Or I use this other one, the MAC Extra, the same thing, Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the shade Whisper of Guilt. This one I can open because it hasn't fell out yet. And that's the shade i just love these two and then after highlighter i go in with um usually my lip my lip colors i they always change but lately i've been into the nyx um suede matte lip liner and this is the shade that i use a lot cold brew i have a whole bunch of nyx lip liners so they all change from time to time but it's always a brown lately like i'm into nudes i need to stop because that's all i've been using lately i think i should go back to 
using different shades i used to wear reds all that but i will eventually it's a face and then um my liquid lipsticks i i love liquid lipsticks i don't i rarely well never wear regular lipsticks i know a lot of people hate liquid lipsticks but i love them and these are the ones that i've been using lately the cork by dose of colors shade cork and then anastasia i use these i have like i had a lot of them so the shade is different all the time like right now i just grabbed bittersweet to show you guys but yeah these are my favorite lip products and then let's go back to eyebrows i kind of wanted to do it in order in order but it didn't work that way so for my eyebrows i use the anastasia brow wiz i did buy a set i don't remember exactly when but i bought a set from benefit it's right here this one that includes all the um it included the five brow products the benefit gimme brow the pencil the other pencil it's called the goof proof and then the setter the eyebrow setting and it came with this um with this um pomade and i like this one more than the anastasia this shade is like well the shade is good on the anastasia too but i feel like this one like i have like a little cut right here on my um eyebrow a scar it's a scar it's not a cut it's a scar now um it covers that and the anastasia it couldn't i had to like use a whole bunch and um powders on top well i always use a powder on top but this one i find it better so i use these two and then when i'm done after everything like after i did i do my eyebrows first a lot of people don't like that i do i do my eyebrows first and um i do get product on my eyebrows at the end like i'll have some powder here and there so i brush through them and then i use this powder i don't use any more pomade i just use this powder on top of everything and it is anastasia's um brow powder duo in the shade granite that's it and then oh let me show you guys for lashes my favorite lashes i use um this is my favorite lash glue the kate kiss strip lash adhesive this works really really good i have been using this for not just this past year for like many years now and this is the bomb so my favorite lashes are over here so i just ordered some a while ago so these are one of them the kiss zero one kiss lashes these and then the ardell wispies these are all over the place some of them might not even go in here but they are the wispies in the number 113 or just the regular wispies and then these other ones the salon perfect these you can get at walmart six in the number 614 these are really good too so um yeah this is what those are the lashes that i use oh and before i apply my lashes i always put a coat of mascara and this mascara is really really good even if you don't wear lashes and you need a good mascara this essence lash princess false lash effect mascara this is so good if you try it you're gonna love it mm -hmm. i got my aunt hooked on this and other people because it's that good i always curl my lashes and then that sounds like everything that i use i know it's a lot for a face but it is what it is if you don't like it you don't like it if you do you know what i'm talking about and then to set everything this i just use to kind of blend everything together i just feel like it um it blends everything together it sets everything really nice on your face and then to make my makeup last hours and hours and hours i use the urban decay all nighters makeup setting spray this is so good so so good so yeah that's what my face what i use on my face when I do my makeup, I don't do my makeup every day. Definitely not. This is how you're going to see me. I don't have an issue. <laughs> but um, when I do, this is those are all the products that I use. 
Yep, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Oh yeah, my eyeliner. I haven't been doing wing eyeliner, but when I do do a wing eyeliner, this is my eyeliner, my go-to eyeliner. The Anastasia liquid liner. It's so matte and really, really, really black and I love it. And then I always use an eyeliner on my um, waterline, on the top waterline to um, blend in the lashes so you don't just see the skin over here and this is my favorite eyeliner the essence extreme lasting waterproof eye pencil up to 16 hours it is really good i don't know if it'll last that long but it is really good and then when i want a skin tone high um i don't really use black on my bottom waterline on my under bottom waterline i use um a light shade and this is the one that I use, the Essence Extreme Lasting, the same as the black one, but this is the shade Silky Nude. And this works really good too. I love it. So yeah, guys, this is, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be starting my YouTube. I'm going to try to be consistent with videos at least three times a week. I didn't know what video to start with, so... I decided to start with my favorites so you guys can know what I use and maybe I'll film a eyebrow tutorial next. I know I've been asked to do that a lot by Annette and other people, but it's probably going to be dedicated to my coworker Annette that I miss because she she's asked me so many times and I still haven't done it. I'm so sorry, but I will get to it. I promise. So yeah, this was my first video. I hope you guys like it and keep on coming back when I upload a next one. So have a good day. If I seem nervous like I told you I was because this was my first ever video and it, I'm new to this. So I'm not used to talking to a camera. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good day and I hope you guys, some of you use what it, so some of the stuff that I use so that you know that it works really good. I know. Some of you might. So yeah, have a good day. Bye.